cops open fire into a crowd because they thought somebody had a gun. Now, when cops think somebody has a gun, they could have Skittles, they could have a phone, they could have a lighter. Uh, there's a lot of things humans carry in their hands that aren't guns. Uh, I mean, they don't even have to have anything in their hands. Uh, but saying they thought they saw a gun is kind of their go-to thing. But shooting into a crowd of people is a new low. It's just a new level of just barbarity that we're seeing police stoop to. Just shooting into a crowd of people because maybe they had a gun. Now, let me ask. I mean, I know this was, where was this? In Denver. Oh, my God. In Denver. I used to live in Denver. You know, there's a lot of people who own guns in Denver. I don't know what the laws are, but it seems like Denver is a place where you can carry guns. You know, there's a lot of places where open carry is is cool. Right? It's New York, Texas. Like, imagine that. Of course you're going to see people with guns in places that allow guns. So, what? Like, cops see you with a gun? I mean, I can only imagine the color of skin, the amount of melanin that was in the group of people that they shot into. But I can't imagine they they would get burned too easy standing out in the sun. It doesn't seem like they shot into a group of whiteies. Well, there are a lot of whiteies in Denver, but they sure love to shoot people with melanin in their skin. Just disgusting, man. They're just slaughtering people left and right. And they're getting raises because they can't. Having prob- problems hiring people to murder innocent citizens. You know? Which is should show you that like, oh, maybe we should get rid of this thing that we can't even recruit for anymore. Versus they're just scraping the bottom of the barrel. Like anybody that wants to kill people, like if that's something that you're you're into right as a lifestyle to like slaughter humans you can get paid to do that as a police officer and most likely i mean at worst at worst unless unless it is a global protest right like george floyd unless it's that that small instance where the entire world is protesting the fact that you murdered somebody All other cases, usually you just get put on sometimes unpaid, sometimes paid leave. Like, it is mild the type of punishment you get for killing innocent people in this country as long as you're wearing a badge. So it's like the people that are into that kind of lifestyle, that are into that kind of thing where they can kill people with impunity... Those are the people that are going to be signing up to be police officers. And they're getting raises. Biden, the this the thing that the guy that the the right says is a uh a, a leftist extremist, which is insane. The guy who in reality is very conservative is exponentially funding police more than fixing the environmental issues he's like investing four billion in environmental issues but like investing 33 billion into policing because he knows things are going to get worse people are not happy with the fact that they're not getting paid anything by businesses protesting is going to get more definitely going to see more cops killing people People are going to get more and more upset with this country, especially if it goes right. Especially if conservatives win the next presidency and install a dictator. So in order to control the livestock of this country, which that is what we are as citizens, we are livestock. We mean nothing to this country other than to produce money. We produce labor for companies produce money and taxes that the lower classes pay for while the billionaires just stack exponential profits businesses stack exponential profits 
but the federal minimum wage can barely buy you a coffee at Starbucks. And now we have cops just shooting into crowds of people. It is insane that people support this this institution. It is insane. Just zero value of life. Zero humanity. Zero morality. Even like, you want to talk about the contradictions in religious people. People who, like, one of the only things, as I'm aware of, that God actually wrote the Ten Commandments, right? Actually, like, document that God actually wrote. Not like people hundreds of years later wrote down in all the books that became the Bible. But like the thing that God, the Ten Commandments that God actually wrote. If you believe that bullshit. Thou shalt not murder. Well, what the fuck do you think police are doing? They're murdering. And of course, religious fundamentalists will make excuses. They will deny the will of their Lord in order to justify the slaughtering of innocent citizens. As long as it's not them. As long as they get to keep their toys, their little guns. Anyway, a cab all day. We need to regulate the police. There needs to be federal regulations of police. We need to make sure that their duty as a police officer is to protect and serve, which it is not at this point. They don't have to do shit. It is not their job to protect or serve the public at all. If you have a restraining order against something, it's just a recommendation. The cops aren't aren't like forced to uphold that on any level. And that's been proven in the Supreme Court. So we need to regulate the police. We need to audit the police. We need to see all of the ways they are wasting taxpayer money. And once we do that, we need to defund the police. Because they are a massive waste of taxpayer money. You look at the 400 people that were involved in the Uvalde school shooting that did absolutely nothing for a solid hour. Did nothing but, but keep that shooter safe from anybody intervening in his slaughter of children. That is what the cops are doing. They are on the side of domestic terrorists. So much so that they shoot into crowds of people. And their excuse is they thought they saw a gun. New episodes of The Ray Taylor Show come out every single day. Subscribe on YouTube and everywhere our podcasts are found. Binge the full week over at InspiredDisorder.com slash plus. Buy Ray Taylor Show merch over at InspiredDisorder.com. And follow the show on Instagram at Ray Taylor Show. Have a wonderful day, everybody. Peace. Ouch! Today is the day where you wake up and you realize that everything that you've been dreaming about, everything that you've been wanting, every goal and wish and hope that you've ever had can become real. Dreams can come true. What you manifest in your mind, you can bring to reality.